Hello everyone, this is Gary, and in this episode I'm going to be restoring this Craftsman hatchet. The head is a little loose, but the handle, it feels like it's in pretty good condition, it feels solid. So what I'm going to do is slide it down to this point. I'm going to have to take off some more material there, but the first thing we have to do is get this metal wedge out of there. This could be quite a process, and the first thing to do is try and get whatever wood wedge you can get out and then try and loosen up around the metal wedge. Right here you can see me drilling it. Just don't go too deep cuz you want to try and I want to try and reuse the handle. So I'm not I'm not drilling too deep. Sometimes you get to this point and you can get some needle nose pliers in those holes and grab it and pull it right out, but in this case it was too tight. So I chisel around it a little bit. Like I said, don't go too deep. When you get to this point where the wedge finally moves, it's very satisfying. It's almost like having a splinter in your hand all day and then getting it out when you get home. I'm going to try and bang this handle out now. So what I'm going to use is just this small piece of wood, which is thinner than the eye of the axe, so it'll hit the wood and it won't get stuck in the eye. It might get stuck down here, but it'll knock that handle out. So you can see there was not too much damage to the top there. And we have enough down we have enough down here to make up for that little bit of damage up there. So I'll clean this up when I go inside, but I'm just gonna gonna have to recut a recut a kerf again for the new wedge. Fix that, try and straighten that out a little bit. And we'll just clean it up and make it fit. We're just going to grind this little mushrooming out here. So I like to grind the bottom and the top of the axe smooth. So when you're choking up on the handle of the axe and your hand's touching the metal, it's right next to the axe head, uh, it doesn't dig into your hand anywhere and it feels comfortable. A nice smooth surface is always better. I use this wire brush wheel on my grinder to get most of the rust off and this doesn't damage the metal at all really so it leaves a nice patinaed surface if that's what you're into. So I use my little round file here to get any sharp surfaces on the inside of the eye there. So I let this soak in the evapor rust overnight and then the next day I take it out and I scrub it with a wire brush and just get all that little loose rust off of there. I use my pole saw to cut in a new kerf and then I use my drill to make the bottom of that kerf round and this helps to prevent splitting in the case when you put your wedge in at the end, hopefully it doesn't split. So here I'm pointing out that front dark edge of the axe is the hardened bit. So that metal is harder and it uh, keeps a sharp edge longer, that's why they harden it. To remove the wood where I want the axe head to sit, I use my card scraper and that's just a flat piece of metal. And it just I just scrape the wood off and I test the axe head scrape a little more wood off, test the axe head. It's a long process, but once you get it down to where you want it, you have a nice um, no gap right there. It looks nice. When you hammer on the axe head tight, it creates a little shelf 
usually, and I like to just take some sandpaper and take that shelf out. And here you can see me using my card scraper again, and I'm just removing some of the dirt and grime that's been built up on this handle for years of use. So when choosing a wedge for the hatchet, I like to try and choose a skinnier or thinner wedge. That way, uh, well, usually a, a hatchet head doesn't have as much space as a full-sized axe head. So you don't need as much width. As you can see, this doesn't fit yet, but I'm just going to sand it down. I like it to be a little oversized at first so I can uh, sand it down to size. That way I get a really tight fit when it's hammered in all the way. And I like to check and make sure that it's going to fit into the axe right here. You see that? Get it all the way down. So I use flaxseed oil. It's the same thing as linseed oil. It's the same plant. Well anyways, you see here I put it on the wedge and I put it along the axe handle where it's going to be inside the eye. And then I just pound in the wedge. And here I'm straightening, straightening it out a little bit. So I leave a little bit of wood standing proud above the axe head right there. Uh, and then I use my chisel to give it a nice chamfered angle, so it gives it less chance of breaking or cracking. I'm going to sharpen it using this brand new Nicholson. And you can see here in the little diagram, you have a single cut and a double cut. The double cut will take off more metal, meaning, meaning you will sharpen it faster. And you can see here, gradual to rapid metal removal. That's what we need. So I just file this down here. I use the coarse side first and then I'll use the fine side just to give it a smoother look. And I'm not really worried about the angle. Um, I just like it to have a nice convex, ed convex edge. Once I'm done filing it, I use this little round sharpening stone. So look at the profile of the blade. It's got a convex convex edge here. It's a little bit more stout and stronger. And I try not to make it too thin here so it doesn't bust because this is a hatchet. It's going to be used as, you know, chopping a little firewood, probably some little pebbles and stuff in it. You don't want to break a break an edge like that. So let's sharpen up this side now too. Get it looking like that. So now that I've finished the axe head, I'm going to finish the handle. And I take this farrier's rasp right here. It's really coarse, so it takes off a lot of wood quickly. And I just make the bottom of my axe handles a little rounded. It feels a little nicer to hold it. And then I use my flaxseed oil again. And oil. I put two coats on this hatchet. Here are a couple of before shots, just so you can see the difference. I just kind of cleaned up some of that rust and cleaned the handle. And now the handle is tight. It's not shaking around anymore. I thought this was interesting. Now that I kept the handle and I cleaned it up, it looks like it says 1947. I can't be sure. And then right here it says 14 inches. It's probably how long the handle used to be. So here I am testing it out on this little tree that my neighbors took down. It works well just chopping off the little twigs is probably what I would use it for mostly and um, using this stick to make a little hiking stick. Now I'm cutting it down to height, the height that I like and chop it off, worked pretty well. As you can see, the hatchet made quick cleanup of that little tree. Well thanks for watching my video and if you enjoyed it please leave a comment let me know what you thought.